this has been one of the more interesting weeks in my journey of homeless advocacy. It started with getting a call uh, about 7.30 a.m. on Monday morning that someone had burnt down the porta potty by the building. And it was, the call was from a guy that had actually been kicked out of the building. And um, I didn't believe him. I just like, oh man, he's just lying to me. He's just trying to pull my chain on, on, on Monday morning. No, no, he was right. The porta potty had literally melted to the ground. Like you couldn't tell there was a porta potty there. Um, it was crazy. Uh, two windows had been blown out and there was some smoke damage on the, the wall. Uh, the real luck of it was that it didn't burn down the entire building because behind the porta potty there is a main line, a main electrical line that goes all the way down the building. It's in a big metal like conduit or whatever they call it. And um, it melded and fortunately blew the fuses that it was supposed to blow. blow. Otherwise, the fire department believed that it was, it would have, um, it, it, the fire was right by the main um, electrical area, you know? And so, anyways, uh, that was crazy. Um, and so, there was that, and then the, um, The, uh, the, the the fire inspectors came and they were upset. And, um, we mutually decided, and they have officially made it so, that we're closing the lower level of the building until we finish our occupancy permit. And I think that's really a good idea. Um, we uh, There were people sleeping in the building that shouldn't have been there. Um, it was just a mess. It was a mess. Like, it like really kind of shook me a little because it could have been really bad, right? It could have been really bad, but it wasn't bad. Uh, it was, it's, you know, very minimal. Uh, and we do believe it's arson. There's a woman who has admitted to several people that she started the fire. So we're looking into that. Um, that's, so, yeah, there's so many different, thoughts and feelings I have in just even this issue like I don't really I don't relish the idea of chasing down a homeless woman and charging her for arson uh, but particularly the people that work in the village are very upset and they're very upset at her and they want to see her um, have justice or whatever and so they they really want me to follow through on that, um, you know, that complaint or whatever you call it. I don't know what you call it. And so anyways, the, that is, um, we're, we're going through that. Uh, so, so yeah, so we had a fire and then our day, our, you know, our lower level day center got closed down. Um, then yesterday, which was Wednesday, there was an overdose at, in, the, in this village next to us, and I have footage of it. I have footage of the overdose, and I think I'm going to make a video out of it because um, I, I want people to see what an overdose looks like um, so that maybe uh, we can bring... We need to bring more humanity to these issues. Like, that's why I do all these stories. Because if you look at this guy, you're like, holy crap, that's just a regular guy. And he said he was a, 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 a college professor at one time. I don't know. I don't know. But he does just look like a regular guy. Like, he just looked like a regular guy. And, you know, he was clinically dead. Um, and he lived. And, you know, so, but, um, and, and the reason he lived was because he was in a community that um, 
didn't nobody knew him he had just snuck into somebody's tent and shot up his, these opiates and um overdosed and he um uh uh the people rallied around him got our narcan because we've all been trained on how to use narcan went and got the narcan and literally saved the guy's life so there was that um and i don't know i guess maybe that's it I mean, and then that was just a chaotic experience. Ugh. Ugh. I don't know. Ugh. It's exhausting to even talk about it. I don't really want to talk about it. But um, what I will tell you is that, like, um, I, again, just come back to this idea of just being so thankful that I'm able to do this work. Like, um, this is, like, what I want to do. Um, like, in urgent situations, everything slows down for me, and it it becomes so crystal clear what needs to be done. And I don't know what it is, but like, like there's something about urgent um, crisis situations that make me at my best. I, I don't know why, I don't know what that is, but that's, like, when things are good is really when I start sucking. I don't know where to go, I see too many options. Like, I'm a good startup business guy. Um, that's what I really want to do, but, like, growing a business, God, I'm terrible at it. I'm just really, really terrible at it. And um, so, like, but anyways, that just reminds me of the fact that, like, I can't believe that I'm in this position in my life that I get to be here, like doing this work because, um, it's so me, it's so me. This work is so everything I am good at. I think, yeah. Like telling the stories, working with the people, creating some sort of path for us to move forward on like I just and then and then, and then then and then like I have the space in my life I have the financial physical health wise I have all this space in my life to do this work at you know in my midlife that you know I still have a lot of energy it's amazing it's amazing that I get that this is that I've had this opportunity um and that's always how I see it. Like, every time something bad happens and we move through it, I just come back to the fact that, like, I'm so grateful that I was able to be a part of this. Like, every single time, every single time, that's my response, is that I'm like, wow, I can't believe I was able to be here and be a part of this. And, um, and that's weird, right? I mean, right? Doesn't that seem weird that a person would say that? Which makes it all the more crazy that I'm here. I mean, who says that? Who says, oh my God, there was a fire and somebody nearly died of an overdose. I'm so glad I was there. <laughs> crazy man says that, I guess. I don't know. But, but that just... You see what I'm saying? You see how cool that is? That a guy like me would say that and then get to be that? Holy cow! Holy cow! Holy cow. That's all I have to say. I guess that's what I'm going to name this episode. Holy cow. All right. That's all I have to say. Um, yeah. I don't know. Another day in helping the homeless. <laughs> all right. I just thought I wanted to share that with you. You guys have a super duper day. I'll see you later. Bye.